Hello Libras. This is your reading for the 8th or the 9th. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what messages we have. You deserve love. You are lovable. So many signs have gotten this card today. And I know Virgo right before you got it. So I think a lot of people are, you know, welcoming in love this year, 2019, and attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. They got this very same card too. Maybe a lot of you guys are either dealing with a Virgo or you guys may be on that cusp, okay? So let's see what messages Tarot has for you guys for today. My Libras. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What messages and love do we have for Libra today? My Libras. Libra. Let's see what we've got. Hmm. Some of you have, um, maybe you've received some news that really kind of struck you kind of hard. Um, maybe you guys have realized something here about something or someone some of you have had to move quite suddenly i feel um maybe have lost your job even if so i'm, I'm very sorry for that um and others of you have probably just broken up with someone quite suddenly that took you by surprise here okay realize something about somebody even scorpio energy let's see what else we've got for you guys The Hierophant is here. You know, I, I'm getting that, you know, maybe a situation in the past, and I'm getting that this tower is just like, almost like, you know, a reawakening. Like, there was something that you realized before about a breakup, about a person even, that, you know, it, it kind of took you off guard. You know, it happened suddenly, and it's like, you know, you were, you were awakened to certain things, certain feelings, your desires, your wants, what you really wanted in your life, okay? But there's something, there's like a second um, awakening. And, and, and we have several different ones, I feel like, throughout our life um, to kind of like, you know, advance us to the next level. And I feel like there's something that you guys have experienced here recently where you've had like another awakening to something, a situation um, that is like now you have a little more knowledge about what it is that you will accept in your life. You know what your standard is, what you what you what you want to deal with, um, what you can completely not deal with. Okay, is what I'm getting from you guys. It's like you're steady. You know, finding out different things about yourself, learning different things about yourself, and then you add another um, bullet point to your list of things that you will and won't accept. Is what I'm getting from you guys here. Okay. And then we have the Six of Wands, um, and I think that you know that you're attractive. This you know, okay? You know that you have all of the, the qualities that, um, that could attract somebody to you, and you know you're attractive. And you feel like, okay, just because I have these standards does not mean that there is no one out there that will meet those standards. But you do know that there are probably few that will. That's the thing. But... Nevertheless, you guys are standing in your own power, um, holding true to your beliefs and what you expect from people, okay? And that is what you have decided upon. Um, basically that you are not going to accept just anything in your life, okay? And I feel like a lot of you guys too are at a point where you are deciding whether or not to bring something back into fruition. All right? Could definitely be a Scorpio you guys are dealing with, maybe a Leo, Taurus individual. Um, but right now, I think you're just taking a look in the mirror at yourself and, you know, kind of reevaluating some things. Then we have the moon here. A lot of things have been revealed to you, but there's a lot that you still don't know. And I feel like you guys are steady learning, not only about other people, but about yourselves as well, okay? You know, kind of reevaluate your feelings, for sure. But you're learning as you go, 
is what I'm getting here. And you guys are moving towards success in your financial life as well as your love life. You guys are moving towards success, okay? You're doing well. You're doing well, okay? And then we have the fool taking the leap of faith, trusting in yourself, trusting what you know to be true, trusting in um, you know the guidelines that you have set for yourself, the boundaries that you have set for yourself, having faith that you know you will be successful in getting what it is that you feel like you want and deserving your life is what I'm getting from this, okay? Doing what you feel is right here with justice. Doing what you feel is right, weighing your options. And judging people you know you have to be careful too what I'm getting with this is that um, you know there is a need to kind of like be mindful of of how you're actually looking at people and really kind of deciding whether or not you know you're being a little too harsh um, to not be judgmental Look at yourself as well to see if there's something that maybe you're, you're judging somebody a little too harshly on, okay? If it's something that you want, you can't really expect people to be mind readers. Sometimes you have to come out your mouth and say what it is that you want, you know, and not expect people to do things that, you know, maybe you wouldn't do, okay? So that's what I'm getting here at, as a message for some of you guys, um, to not be too cocky, um, to not be judgmental. Let's see what is influencing you guys here. Knight of Cups. Go for the things that you um, that you're interested in. You know what I'm saying? Like the things that you are really. Um, don't let anything impede you from what it is that you want. Not even yourself. So with that being said, this is like you know moving out of your own way. Do not get in your own way, okay? because um, you could end up. You know, if, if your standard is way too high or if you are judging people unfairly, then you could definitely get in your own way and hit a roadblock here. Definitely. And I think you're, you're really wanting somebody that will be there for you through thick and thin. You want a knight in shining armor and or um, or that girl or that woman you know, if you're a guy, um, but do not get in your own way. It's what I'm getting for a lot of you guys. Give somebody what they give you. Don't expect more of somebody else um, than what you're willing to give. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. Healing, the star, your destiny, your path. Knight of Swords. I feel like there's definitely somebody that's in your path. Um, maybe somebody that that you have like counted out. Maybe a, an Aquarius individual that is eager to speak to you and let you know that they feel like you know what? Hey, I feel like you know we can make it. Let's let's have a go with this. And I feel like this is somebody that is initiating some healing in you, some further healing in you. Okay, that will possibly um, make you take a longer look at yourself or a deeper look at yourself even. Um, this person is very eager, anxious, and determined to make you see something. Aquarius energy is strong here. We also have Scorpio, Taurus, um, Aries, Leo, Cancer individual maybe pisces individual so that is what i have for you guys and i will be speaking with you soon